Hello, hello, this is Angela with some quick shopping shares. I uh, will um, start with this kit here. This is from Carol over at Free Spirit Arts, and she made some grunge kits. Now, this is good for me because I need to start on grunge because I don't usually work with grunge. I think I did a tall and skinny journal that was grunge, but Carol did one that was absolutely awesome. I can't remember what she named her journal, but it was like a spirit journal. <clears throat> she originally called it the dark journal, and then it ended up with a name. And I'm sorry, Carol, I can't remember what you called it because um, I just kept thinking of it as a spirit journal. But anyway, she made the grunge, this grunge kit. So I wanted to share that with you really quick. Here's a cute little baggie with a little chickadee on it. Not a chickadee, but a chick. Happy Easter past. So I'm going to save that because some of those little flowers could make a nice little window, couldn't they? So I'm going to put that right in this this uh, little envelope I have. So there are some coffee dyed CD holders. Yummy. I love CD holders. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and I have just the thing I want to do with that. I saw something today and I want to try it. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Ooh, grungy envelopes. Oh, look at how nice and grungy that is. Yummy. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this piece. Wow, and look at this bag it's in. <laughs> ah. My dog saw this sitting up on the counter and she reached up with her little teeth and yanked it off and took off with it. Ooh, that feels good, Carol. Ooh. Ooh, have fun. Wow. That is cool. Wow, I love it. I'm going to slip that in my little case. I'm going to save that. And then there is this part of the kit. Where's the opening? Oh boy. I'm going to save this too. I have a box under my desk I put all these plastic bags into. Ah, here we go. Oh, I remember these days. That printing just right on blueprints. I used to do drafting. Cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very cool. And a grunged up map. Mmm. I just saw how to make a really cool fold-out window with three pockets on it. And I think this is going to become that. Okay, putting that to the side too. I already have an idea for it. Some beautiful coffee dyed papers. Oh, look at that. Nice, Carol. I got a spider spider. Two little egg yolks. No, it's two eyes looking at me. Now they're looking at you. It's sunflowers. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see some sewing around here and a hole. 
Yes, I do. Oh, these will be really cool. Thank you so much. you got to look at both sides because it always looks different on the other side. You get different effects on your papers. Oh, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, look at this one. I love the way that she she'd shown that she had wrinkled these all up and then, you know, coffee dyed them as they were wrinkled. It really gave a nice effect to them. You know, you get some darker lines and some lighter lines and spotches and spooches. All kinds of cool things. That one's really cool. I really like that. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Very cool. So how wide is that? That is nine inches. Well, just almost eight and a half. Almost eight and a half by six. Mm. So that little map will go on here. Um, yeah, okay. We're going to figure that out. Oh. Uh, music sheet. Boy, that's a nice heavy-duty music sheet. Cool. Oh, my favorite. Lined paper with grunge on it. Yum. Listen to that. Doesn't that sound cool? How can you not listen to all that? Oh. Awesome, Carol. You did some nice work, lady. And then it also came with some grungy laces. That over there. Oh, look at this. Very nice. Hmm, I wonder. I could almost make a cover out of it. Could be a little oversized. Ooh, cool. Yeah. I see a little bit of something there. Oh. Boy, I'm sure glad you included this because I cannot find my stuff like this at all. And I have some that's avocado dyed too. <laughs> Very cool. You've got to have this if you're going to have anything grungy at all. Yeah, look at that. Love it. Love it, I love it. Okay, then we have some laces here and a ribbon. Oh, look. Cute uh, bobbin there, Carol. Oh, that'll be pretty on the cover. I know that's where it's going. I know it, I know it. And the ribbon will be very pretty. It's got some dye in it, too. Very cool. Okay. And then we have a couple more here. Let's have a peek. Oh yeah, that'll look good. And then we have this one down here. Very nice, Carol. Love your bobbins too. They're very cool. 
Ooh, look at this. Ooh, I love the feel of that. Is that a, a, like a sheet? Wow, really neat the way it's uh, dyed. Very cool. Love the colors in it. I wish you could feel it. It's so, so soft. And then we have a little bit of grungy uh, trim here. And some eyelet. Yeah, eyelet lace, isn't it? Eyelet. that in there. Ooh. A little bit of seam binding and some more lace with green. Very cool. And oh, a little note. That's a nice envelope there too. Hmm, what could we make out of that? Something. I see something in it. Look at this napkin. Doesn't it make you want to have an ice cream? Very cool. Oh, fun. I'm going to put it in here, but it's going to go somewhere else. <laughs> Little piece of wood. I have to smell it. <laughs> Oh, when my husband worked in the mills, he always came home smelling like furs. <laughs> oh, he smelled so good. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, look at that. It's embossed. Wow, that is very cool. Oh, I wish you could feel that. Can you see that it's raised and embossed? You can you can see the embossing better this way or debossing. Very cool. Fun, fun, fun. And a little note. Thank you, Carol. It didn't forget anything that I know of. It was more than I thought it was going to be. I did. Oh, wait. I, I forgot something myself. Here's her little corner thing she made. I love how you stitched on them like that. Gosh, they're so soft, you guys. And there's a little bit of tape in there. Very cool. I love that. And a tea bag. A couple of them. Ooh. I think those are about my first tea bags. Fun. I've wanted to play around with tea bags for a while. That'll be fun. And some really cool library type pockets. Oh, I love the color, Carol. That is very cool. Look at that. And a little envelope, all nice and dyed and pretty. And wow. A little bit of sound. Some quarter and some dime rollers. Another envelope. Some three and a half by five cards. Three by five. Three by five. And a guest check. That's a nice thick one. Fun, fun, fun. Well, thank you, Carol. I am so glad that I requested one of those because this looks like a blast. 
<clears throat> well, I'm going to recycle part of that. I'm going to save these because I'm going to make something with that part. I'm going to put them right on top. Okay. Now I've got my envelope here. No, you're really going to have to go all the way down. All the way. There you go. So that I can fold that closed. Okay. That's from Carol. We'll have to put Carol's name on it. Now the other thing I got was from Scrapbooking With Me. <coughs> from, it's Eve and Mal Mal Malena? Mal okay, I'm sorry. I forgot how to pronounce it. Anyway, she had these um, really cool uh, things on her shop, in her shop. And I believe they make these themselves. Inspire and Create. Embrace the Journey. Won't these look cool on a cover, a journal? Then we have Use Your Wings. Make Today Count. And Follow Your Heart. And then I got this little um I'm not gonna pull it out um transparent um I think it's uh f it says flower story I think they're transparent though but um we'll definitely pull those out and use them but not right this second I'm going to put these in here I'm going to slip that in there too and then I have these. I thought that would look really cool on um, the edges. And sometimes you want to get this wood look on stuff. And this is all nice and cut out. A little crackle look here. And this is like a whole little story there. A poem or something. And then they had these. Um, front and back covers for a flip up journal. This way. The most beautiful things in life must be felt with the heart. Isn't that pretty? I hope they get back in their other ones where there are the side ones because I really want to do a side one. But I thought, you know, I might as well do um, an upper flip too because um, I have some paper I think would go very good in this. And then they have this new um, stencil. And it says coffee over here. Over here. And so then we have these nice little coffee spills. So very pretty. And she had this beautiful vellum paper. And I thought, you remember when we did the Rachel at Roxy Creations um, vellum um, holdouts? I thought this would be very pretty for that. See if I can get that tape up. Because it's such a pretty cover. Looks like something we could use. I can't get it. It's a little round piece of tape on there. Okay. She says as she breaks out the razor blade knife. Don't want to cut the paper. <laughs> that would that would be a bad impression to leave you with, wouldn't it? 
Okay. Not going to save that part. <laughs> I'm not. I tried. But I thought this was so, so pretty. Look at this. Wait a minute. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. So, let's see. This is Crafter's Companion. And these, I believe, are 8 by 8 sheets. And there is 24 printed vellum sheets. It's 150 GSM. And you get... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six different um, flowers. So there's that one. And here is this one. It's nice and heavy. It's very heavy. It's very cool. So there's that one. That one goes that way. And then there is this one. Isn't that pretty? Can't resist that. So I definitely want to make some more of those pockets um, that Rachel made because I want to use some of these for that. And then here's this one. With the dragonfly. And here is this one that goes on the bottom of that one, actually. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Slip that back in there. And then I bought this from them. And this is what drew me. Um, was this diagonal punch. Because. Because, because, because. It drew me in because. You can do a tag with it. How easy is that? And I just saw this morning that they said they just got some more in. So, let's try it. Let me get a piece of paper. Uh oh There's one. There's one. And there's one. Okay, so let's try this one first. Ooh, look at that nice corner. Yeah. Oh, I got an owie on my thumb. I'm going to go ahead and punch all the sides. Oops. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Okay, so that was that one. Let's try this one. So it's just a little bit smaller. Hard to see, isn't it? And then, well here, how about we could see it better on that. There you go, see? There's that one. And here's this one. And there's one more over here. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. That makes a regular tag. Or makes a great little um, um, label. <laughs> so you can see it's like a regular uh, ta a tag shape. Very cool. And it works great. And it's a We Are Memory Keepers. 
so I think it will last a long time. Okay, so that's what I got from scrapbooking with me. And then I got an Amazon order. Let me put these back in the box. And I got this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back to scrapbooking with me. I bought a ruler. Look at this. Hmm. How do I get into it? I think this is their own design. Um, but there's something really cool I want to show you about it. It's more than just a ruler. It's a centering ruler. And you can also use it to mark your dots. So let me find a piece of paper. Here's my little bill. Um, has all the numbers on it. Yeah. And then on this side, it's a centering ruler. See, there's the zero, and then numbers go out. So you line up your... Oh. Let's look at this one. Here we go. So if we want to find center on that, um, what we do is... We line up our zero in the middle, where we think the middle is, and then we look on each end. And it looks to me like it's going out to four and a fourth on both sides. Okay? It would actually be four and a fourth one way and, uh, yeah, four and a fourth on each side. And then your center would be right here. So very cool. The next thing that was so cool about it was, is it has all of the little, I think they're in one eighths. Need a pencil. But it has if you want to like have like a, you know, you need to mark your places with um, maybe where you want to put some holes or something like that. It has these little holes in it. And it looks to me like they're every one eighth or sixteenth maybe. Yeah, I think it's every eighth. But isn't that cool? And they go all the way down to the 12 inches. So you can mark your little, like if you wanted to do some stitching, I would probably, and you wanted it neat, you could put these little dots down there all the way down so you could get your, your stitching just right. So that is my scrapbooking with me order. Then, uh, I think her name is Lei, L-E-I-G-H, Creates. She was doing a, um, I think it was a collage. But she had some of these elements from, I don't know if it was from this one or this one. But they were just so cute. I just had to get it. Just look at this. Look at this hippopotamus. And look at this cool VW and um, a fish and a light bulb. And this little girl. Yeah, I think it was her that had this. But Le Leia Creates. 
Isn't that fun? It looks like there's a couple of papers with each one. Here's a cat and a mouse. I thought this would be really great too for um, the Marguerite Miller. If you weren't doing a vintage style, something maybe a little more colorful. That this would be a lot of fun to use for that. Yeah, there's two with two of each design. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Got its little shark fin up there for swimming in the water. Uh, oh, look at the bunny. And the women are so cute. I love it. Dra uh, sea dragon. Or what do you call them? I don't know. I can't remember right now. Seahorse. Oh, look. A little mouse in a teacup. So anyway, I had to get this for uh, collaging. And it is by uh, Studio Light. Art by Marlene. And so fishticated. Fishticated. Yeah, this was the one that she had gotten. So, of course, excuse me, Amazon always influences you to buy something else. So this was there, and it's the same, but it has a little more. And uh, let your true color shine through. Look at these crazy birds here. And this funny owl, cat with glasses. But what fun collage ephemera this is. So I just had to get it because sometimes I really love color. Look at this. It's good too. Sorry, I've got the yawns. I don't know why, but I do. Oh, well, yeah, I do know why. Some really nice paper here. Beautifully done. Yeah, lots of beautiful, bright colors for collage. And this thing is huge. It is eight point three by eleven point four inches uh one thousand oh, plus die cut paper elements and pattern paper oh look at the flamingo with the crown how cute is that queen lollipop A lighthouse with a swirly top. Very cool. Look at this. These bunnies. A bunny here. A unicorn. A cat. Another owl. A wiener dog. Very, very fun. And, of course, if you buy all three, you get what makes you feel like you get a better deal, but you don't really. But it was worth it to me because look at this. This isn't that adorable. And this telephone booth. And, sorry, a stop sign. And a lamp post. So there we go. That is my share for today. Um, my Amazon shopping, my scrapbooking with me shopping, and my free spirit art shopping. So thank you all for some wonderful items and 
Um, I will list scrapbooking with me and free spirit arts down below. Amazon is not, this is not an affiliation or anything. I'm not getting paid to say anything about Amazon. You guys all know what Amazon is. Um, so anyway, but I will put the links down below for the scrapbooking with me and free spirit arts. And I guess I need to go have some coffee because I am really yawning a lot. Okay, thanks for joining me today, and I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget, the most beautiful things in life must be felt with the heart. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.